The chair, a seemingly innocent sitting device, is in fact one of our nation's greatest killers. In 2010, I was sitting in my office, reading an article about a terrorist attack in Austin, Texas. But I had not realized that the real danger lay beneath me. All of a sudden, my chair rolled out from under me, leaving me with a broken arm and a shattered faith in my butt's ability to sit in safety. Luckily, my co-workers were able to get to me in time and take me to safety, but millions were not as lucky as I was. To this day, I am still traumatized from that experience and have dedicated my life to prevent this from happening to others. Brooke, can you give us one quote from this awful experience that you would like to share with the world? As long as people believe that they can make money from creating unsafe sitting devices, you will never truly be safe. Well, that was some very wise wisdom coming from Bruce. Next to join us will be Dr. Leroy Sitz from the Chair Institute of Ohio. The materials in chairs may be harmful to humans. Materials such as iron, plastic, paint, and leather. On their own, they may seem harmless, but combined together in a way that lets a person sit in them, they can in fact become deadly. I have studied this material for my entire life. I, Dr. Lee Bartitz, believe this to be a matter of great importance. It is a matter that can destroy our whole nation. It is more deadly than disease, more deadly than war. Chairs will destroy this world that we live in. Thank you. I approve this message. Coming up, we will be going to South Carolina, where we will be joining a group of protesters protesting against the horror that is chairs. Here's Charlie McJohnson now. Say to sit! Say to sit! Say to sit! Well, that was a stirring chant. So, what inspired you to come out here today? Uh, so, yeah. So, you know, I just, I, I really care about this cause. It's something I really care about. And I wanted to come out here and show my support. You know, because it's like a big problem out here. Yeah, heck yeah! Yeah! Yeah, so I'll show you. So, what do you want to accomplish today? You know, we just kind of want to like raise awareness because, you know, chairs aren't safe, man. 98% of deaths are chair related today. So it's just like, you know, raise awareness, cool stuff. Yeah! You know what I mean? Cool. Thank you and good luck. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Cool. Now here to join us are John and Kate Morrison, a beautiful couple with a sob inducing story of how they lost their child to a chair. About four years ago, I was sitting with my son, Billy, watching our favorite show, Keeping up with the Kardashians. When suddenly, Billy's chest began to tremble. My chair grabbed his left arm and fell to the ground. What happened next was all a blur. Billy died that day. And even though the doctors say it was due to a heart attack brought on by his morbid obesity, my husband and I continue to, continue to believe that the blame lies in the chair he was sitting in at the time. We will continue to fight those chairs and the companies that make them for all of eternity. We will sue them until they don't have a penny left. I'm with my wife 100%. 150%? Yes, yes, of course. As you can see, these chairs are deadly. But let's take a step back and find out just how these chairs are made and what the motives of the makers are. We have been lucky enough to score an exclusive interview with the head of the company, Seats, Seats, and More Seats. Here is the infamous Grub Stool, who is currently being held at California San Quentin for crimes against the buttocks. Hello, Mr. Stool. I'll be asking you some questions about your chair company and your standing 
Or should I say sin? Yeah. <laughs> now, on the subject of chair danger, I made that one up myself. Funny, no? Nine! As for your questions, I will attempt to answer it as honestly as I can. Us Germans are honest folk, yeah? Are you getting this? Okay, first question. What sort of chair does your company produce? My company does not produce the kind of chairs you like to sit your printed in a tushy in. Mr. Porter, oh no. We make the hardest chairs out of iron, diamond, stone. This is the custom of made of Germany, yeah? Our chairs will turn your backside into one large callus. <laughs> Okay. So, what do you think about the whole stop the chair movement? Do it! These are sissies and hippies. We simply need a cause to care about so they feel good about themselves. In my native Germany, they would be killed. Yeah? They have no evidence that chairs ever killed anybody. Chairs do not kill. This is silly. They should be given the death penalty to the electric chair with them, yeah? Isn't the electric chair chair that kills people? Uh, no comments. After hearing all of these awful things about chairs, you may be terrified, but you need not be. These chairs can be tamed. Here to show us the proper way to sit in or tame a chair is Frederica Lornington. First, approach the chair from the front with caution. Make eye contact with chair. If chair blinks once, proceed to next step. But if chair blinks twice, slowly back away, making sure to never turn your back to it. If chair blinked once, place your right hand on its backrest and feel its backside in order to get to know chair. Hold out your left knee for the chairs to become acquainted. Slowly lower your posterior onto said chair. Next, slowly raise your right leg over backrest and wrap right arm around it. Lastly, throw your weight backwards and sit for no longer than a minute. If you wish to sit longer, you must repeat these steps first. If any of these steps go wrong, call chair control to discard of your vicious chair safely. Throughout this documentary, you have seen many things. You met a man who survived a chair attack. You witnessed a couple who lost their only child to a chair. You learned of a man who would stop at nothing to expand his chair empire and destroy the world. And finally, you came to an understanding of what you can do to stop these beasts from ravaging the land. With the knowledge now endowed to you, I dearly wish that you will step up and fight for safety and prosperity in this land. Let the sitting devices that have stopped men from standing up stop them no more. The power is now in your hands. Thank you and God bless.